I'm Sharon Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and artist tablet books. In this video, we will explore the updated drip and liquid brushes like the popular Sargent brush. In the painting that you see here, Downstream Summer, I used several of these brushes. This is an in-progress painting. The color palette is inspired by the warm summer that we've been having. I used the Sargent brush, Real Bristle Soft, and others to paint the study. These brushes paint with a luscious, wet, oily look and feel, and you can mix new color with existing color. Painter 2018 brings artists important new versatility with popular brushes like the Sargent Brush variant of artist favorites that incorporate liquid and drip technology. With 2018, brushes that use the drip method and all subcategories and the plug-in method, liquid subcategory, are even more versatile. Prior to 2018, these brushes could only paint on the canvas and on layers with existing color. Now artists can paint on new empty layers with these brushes. Let's explore some of the default brushes that use these methods. As you can see I've made a small custom palette and to do so I chose an individual brush in the brush selector, held down the shift key and pulled it out to create my custom palette and then I followed the same procedure to add more of these brushes to the palette. I did a search so that I could pull up some of the brushes. You'll find the search underneath window search and you can search for liquid like so and it will pull up brushes that use the liquid subcategory. As you can see the Sargent brush is at the top of the list. Now if we look over here in the general controls which you can open by clicking the gear icon right here on the property bar, you'll see that the Sargent brush is a captured dab type, its stroke type is single, its method is plug-in, and its subcategory is liquid. We'll be talking a little bit more about the general panel as we go through and try out these brushes. Before we move on to trying out the brushes, I just want to point out that the search function is useful for bringing up brushes in the liquid and drip categories, but near the bottom of the list you'll also see some brushes in other categories that don't pertain to what we're doing right now. As you can see, I've created a layer so that I can show how the brushes paint on a solid color, a white background, and also a clear area of the canvas. As you can see, I can turn these layers off. We do have a transparent layer here. I'm going to start with the Sargent brush. Now with the Sargent brush, I used it on my painting to paint the water. So I was able to get a lot of really beautiful color overlay here by adding new color and brushing back and forth across the area. So I'm going to select the Sargent brush by clicking on my custom palette here. You see artist's favorite Sargent is chosen. And I'm just going to make some brush strokes up here. And you see how I'm able to paint new color but also pull out a little bit of this blue here. And if I paint strokes across my image here, you see that I'm also able to paint thinner strokes, oily strokes, and reveal some of the underlying color. Now the next brush I'm going to demonstrate is the Real Bristle Drip. Now here you'll see the options change in the general panel and now we're using a brush that has a drip method and a drip subcategory. Now we'll make a mark here and you see we're able to pull this blue color out onto the white area here. We'll make We'll paint a puddle of paint and see how we get that beautiful transparency. And if we paint over our image, the colors blend with what the underlying colors that we have in our image. And I do have pick up underlying color chosen right now. We'll look at 
how it works with that turned off. With the updated features in Painter 2018, we're also able to use pickup underlying color on layers with these particular brushes. Now the next brush I'm going to demonstrate is the Real Bristle Soft. I use the Real Bristle Soft in my image to paint the clouds. And we'll first make a stroke here so you could see the beautiful bristle look that it has. And we're able to blend with the color that we have here. And also this is a drip method with a grainy drip subcategory. And we'll make a mark on our image here so we see how that looks with pickup underlying color turned off. And with pickup underlying color turned on we're getting some color pulling up from the underlying layer onto this new layer and you see the colors blending. The next brush that we're going to have a look at is the Light Liquid Sketcher. I used a small sergeant brush and the Light Liquid Sketcher to do these expressive thin brush strokes in this part of the water. And now for the blenders. The Speckle Diffuse Blender is an interesting one. And here we have Pickup Underlying Color turned on. So it's going to allow us to pull color up from the underlying layer. And if we turn this off, then we're just adding a little bit of this lavender color that we have chosen and if we paint over here you see we're able to pull color out of here and the white into this blue area and the blue out into the white and this particular brush uses the plug-in method and it's a liquid brush subcategory the next one we're going to have a look at is the coarse oily blender the coarse oily blender does not apply color, but it does allow us to smudge and blend and push color from one area to another. And we'll make some marks on the painting here. And let's see how it works with pick up underlying color. See, we're able to pick up color from our image and bring it up onto this particular layer. Now this Mary Wet Sponge is one of my favorites. Let's have a look at it with pickup underlying color turned off. I used it to blend my clouds. And let's make a mark over here. You see how you're able to push this color out into the white area for a very wet, oily effect. And it does have a bit of a grainy look to it as well. Now this one uses the drip method and the subcategory is grainy hard drip. So it's quite dramatic, fun, and a very expressive brush. So I hope you enjoyed exploring the updated drip and liquid brush technology with me. Have fun with the brushes and happy painting.